You're going on a journey. A journey through memory. All you have to do is follow my voice. I think audiences more and more are going to the movies to see something they haven't seen before. To be immersed in a world that they don't know. They want to go on a journey. Miami, in the not too distant future, it's a sunken world. In this place where there's so much chaos, there's a lot of nostalgia. Bannister owns a reminiscence machine, which enables people to relive their memories. It unlocks the full experience and transports you in time. You can really live that moment as if it's happening. In the reminiscence, I can feel his arms around me. Nothing compares. In this future, another drug is memory. Memory can be its own kind of addiction. The brain is a very confusing and potentially dangerous place, so my character is a person who takes you there to that memory so that you don't go down the wrong path. Memory can be really positive. It's got a destructive quality too. Lisa is so well suited to project into the future and create stories that allow us to question whether we want to lose our humanity. There is a musicality to her writing, and it's absolutely incredible. Lisa has taken questions of character and fate, memory, and turned them inside out, blown them to pieces, and reassembled them in this breathtaking way. What attracted me was a movie that felt so original. I had no idea where this story was going. There's five or six turns you're not going to see coming. And yet she handles it so deftly that you are just following these characters on their journey. Where is she? Where is she? Reminiscence was really the first thing I'd ever written that was wholly my own. But I had this story that I wanted to tell. The first time I met Lisa was on the set where we shoot Westworld. And I was just amazed at her mind and her poetry, romance, and love. I was the beneficiary of such talented, generous minds, helping me bring this collective story to life. And it feels like home, being with our camera operators and Paul being here, and I'm just grateful to be a part of it. I love Tandaway. We have worked together for several years now. We met on a FaceTime to talk about Westworld, where we were both breastfeeding our children. It doesn't get more real than that. I respect her so much as an artist, as an advocate, as a friend. I mean, honest to God, it took me a week to wake up to the fact that Lisa wanted me to be part of her first feature. Tandy and I have really become friends in life. It's been many years, so we've, we have a real relationship, and I love her. And I'm so happy we have a scene that's completely different from Clementine and Maeve from Westworld. Like, it's dramatically different. In the reminiscence, I can feel his arms around me. Memories, even good ones, have a voracious appetite. It only has the scope and feel that it does because my collaborators gave it their all. You can feel it on set, you can see it on screen. To be there with people that you have worked with and collaborated with so closely for so long is an incredible advantage. There's a trust. There was not one moment where I didn't feel such immense gratitude because I knew I was in one of those really lucky moments, a moment that I would reminisce over. It was an incredible gift they gave me. You're going on a journey, a journey through memory, your destination, a place and time you've been before. To reach it, all you have to do is follow my voice.